Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we have some rainbow high news to talk about, including some tweets, which I'll admit they could be speculation. Just don't take them as fact. This person, I believe, is a very trusted leaker, though, so I think most likely what they've tweeted is credible. But, um, yeah, I've just seen these kind of floating around on Instagram, so I wanted to talk about them, in addition to the Series 3 Shadow High dolls being found in stores. We got to see our first look at the finalized dolls as opposed to the stock photos. So that's always fun. With that said, let us begin. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda just wanted to talk about Rainbow High. I feel like it's been a while, so I'm taking what I can get. We'll start with the good news. This is probably one of the best things I've seen. There are going to be six new Rainbow High fashion packs all slated for 2024. They are going to include multiple pieces, shoes, and accessories for $10, which is very cheap, all things considered. Um, I don't know if you guys remember this. It was kind of obscure, kind of passed without much of a much of a concern, but uh, they released shoe and accessory purse packs separately, like a pair of shoes in one pack and a purse in one pack for $10 each. So let's just say this price tag is very good. So they also note that bullying works, which, you know, that's what they did with the Sonic movie. Uh, this sounds good. Honestly, If they, even if they changed the price to like, if they were to change the price to like, I would say like $12, it would still be good. 15, I feel like you're teetering on price gouging slightly. But uh, 10 bucks for a whole outfit, shoes, accessories, that sounds good. I'm definitely excited to see what those are going to be. Uh, the specifics of there being six of them makes me think that most likely they're going to be for the main six. Like the original six characters, uh, Jade, Sunny, Violet, you know, that group. So very um, interested to see what those are going to be. And then we are told that the new core Rainbow High dolls for 2024 are going to be Series 1 characters coming with Mixit Slime and Poopsie Pets. So, um, that's definitely interesting. Um, if you guys don't know, some people don't, but uh, Rainbow High was originally a spinoff of the Poopsie Slime Surprise brand. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that clip of Moist Critical going, Whoa, yeah, baby! But that comes from a video where he's reacting to the Poopsie... Uh, music video, actually. That's how I found out about the Poopsie brand. I think. Did Rainbow High already exist when that video came out? I don't remember. The passage of time is weird. But, um, yeah, in case you guys didn't know what Poopsie Slime Surprise is, basically it was like these little creatures with the same eyes that Rainbow High dolls have, but they were most of the time non-human characters, like little animals, like unicorns and stuff, and they would, uh, poop slime. It was, it was kind of gross. <laughs> it doesn't seem like they're going to make the dolls do that, but the fact that they're bringing the slime back almost feels like, in a way, MGA wants to bring Poopsie back in some way or another. I don't know. But uh, there was also this tweet where they say, are you, where someone asks if they're kidding, obviously, and the leaker says that they're not, they wish they were. The only new character is a junior high version of Jewel. The rest is Series 1 plus Amaya, Bella, and a slime surprise playset, so... This really seems like a bizarre direction to go in all of a sudden. I do remember hearing that allegedly Rainbow High was going to start gearing more towards children rather than adult collectors again, but I didn't think it would be this drastic. Um, I'm hoping this stuff isn't true, like maybe this person just stumbled across old leaks, but it seems to be slated for next year, so I don't know. There was also this one. Uh, apparently, we're going to be getting dolls with glittery bodies combined with tinsel and glitter eyelashes and glittery slash shimmery outfits packed alongside glitter slime and glitter pets. What the fuck is MGA doing to poor Rainbow High is an accurate statement. Um, it definitely sounds concerning. I would have to see this stuff to make a proper opinion on it, but currently it's not sounding so great. Moving on to things we can actually see. The um, Series 3 of Shadow High has been found in a store in Canada, that store being Toys R Us. Um, I'm assuming this is Canada just based on the tags on the shelves. From what I've seen whenever people post like pictures in a Canadian Toys R Us store, that's what the tags look like, so I'm assuming this is Canada. The prices also seem pretty accurate to what they are up there. I say up there because I live in the United States, which is below it. So, yeah. Um, 
we got to see Barry Skies, which I don't think I ever made a video talking about her stock photos when they came out, but um, she has an interesting name, Barry Skies. I actually quite like the way the doll looks. Um, I do actually enjoy her. I think she ended up much prettier than her stock photos made me believe she would be. She uses Coco's face mold. If you guys don't remember Coco from series five, um, she was the dark blue character. So I never expected to see Coco's face mold reused just because it seemed very specific to her. It was a very unique face, but uh, seeing them reuse it on Barry, I'm not against it. It looks cute on her, and I really like the hair color. She still reminds me of Honey Swamp. Uh, that was everyone's main assessment of her when they first saw her. But, um, yeah, she does still remind me of Honey Swamp, but I do actually like her. Uh, her bralette seems to be modeled to look like a motherboard, which I just think is... <laughs> that's a cute touch. And her skirt is made to look like those CD holders um, that you could store your CDs in if you didn't want to put them in their cases for some reason. I think she's cute. She also, oh, I thought she had a ribbon in her hair, but I think that's just a box reflection. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not a ribbon. She's really pretty, actually. Uh, her earrings look like microphones, I want to say. Maybe not. I honestly can't tell what they are. She's got a cute bracelet on as well. I overall really like her design. I wasn't too keen on getting any of these dolls, but seeing Barry, like an actual person of her in person, I like her. I think I would rather call her Sky though. I really feel like Sky Barrymore or something would have been a better name. And I know we already have Mila Barrymore, but they can reuse a last name on characters that aren't related. That happens in real life like all the time. These two were also found in person, Rosie Redwood and Scarlet. What the hell was her last name? Scarlet something. I don't I don't remember. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> um, these two were also found in person, though. Rosie is pretty cute. I didn't expect her eyebrows to be as short as they are. They look kind of short to me. I don't know. But um, I do like the way her jacket looks. Again, I do think that's one of her cutest pieces, as well as her boots. I really like the shoes that they gave her. Seems to have a zipper around the top with ribbons hanging off of the zippers. Very cute. And overall, the only thing I'm not that into is her hairstyle. I just feel like it's a bit plain. It could definitely be something more extravagant, you know? Um, personally, me myself, I'm not very good with doll hair. I don't have much creativity when it comes to making up hairstyles for my dolls. But um, if I look up some inspiration or something, I'm sure I could come up with something to, to redo her hairstyle with. She's a good base doll. She's definitely a very good base doll. Although... I will admit part of me wishes that she had like red skin rather than this like sort of light pinkish color. That's one of my main criticisms with uh, Shadow High recently. I was talking to um, my Instagram mutual um, ugly burnt doll, <laughs> that's their username, and um, they made a point that the Shadow High dolls would definitely benefit from having like darker colors as their skin tones rather than having it be used as their hair. Like think like how Monique and um, Dia look. They both have like dark purple for their skin tone. They look good, you know? I think that if uh, Rosie here had been given like that um, dark red skin tone, it really would have benefited her. Like obviously not with this exact outfit because then her um, boots and her dress wouldn't go as well. But you know, I just think it would have lended to a better design overall because then they wouldn't have had to use that shade of red for her hair you know as for her um she just needs a better outfit again i like the base doll and i do like that she uses the original head mold um i have been getting a little bored of always using the thinner head mold like what rosie has so it's nice to see the old one every now and again uh, this picture is definitely the hardest to make stuff out but her outfit's still boring i still like the doll's hair color yeah, I can't really say as much about her just because we can't see her as well. All in all, these uh, real life photos made me change my opinion on Barry. I like her more than I expected to. She has very pretty makeup. Like she just has an absolutely gorgeous makeup look and I really like it. Her hair is super cute as well. I can definitely see product in it, but it makes sense. She's got very curly hair, so I guess they need some product in it to maintain the curls. It like makes sense. Although, now that I'm imagining her with a little ribbon tied around her ponytail, I just, I really want to do that. So I think 
when or if I buy this doll, I can see myself buying her. But uh, when I do it, I think I'm going to tie a little ribbon into her hair just because it, it looks like a ribbon. And it's not. And it makes me sad, so I'm going to give her a ribbon in her hair. But yeah, these are the dolls that were found today in Canada. I don't know if the original poster uh, bought them. They The pictures are from Reddit, but I've seen them circulating on Instagram. And I can't find the credit anymore. I'm sorry. If anyone wants to um, comment the Reddit user who posted these images, I will heart or maybe even pin your comments. I just want to give proper credit where it's due to the person who found these photos but I don't use reddit so I, I don't know how to search for it but yeah uh these are the photos and the dolls overall look very good again I, I can't get over how pretty she actually is I really wasn't expecting her to look any different from her stock photos but she really does also she doesn't seem to have teeth painted in maybe that's one of the reasons I like her so much I don't know I'm gonna call it here. I've discussed everything I wanted to with you guys. Um, I am excited to see what- well, I don't want to say excited. I don't feel like that's the right word. I guess it's more like I am anticipating the stuff that we talked about earlier, like the Twitter stuff. I want to see what that's gonna look like. I am cautiously awaiting it because it does sound like a disaster, but who knows, maybe it won't be that I, I don't know. I just want to believe that MGA is not trying to run Rainbow High into the ground for no reason. I, I'm just... The fashion packs sound good. The glitter bodies don't, though. So yeah, as always, feel free to comment your thoughts. I like hearing what you guys have to say. And as always, I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye!